Hi, as of now, we have seen how we can start making the borders and using dimensions. How can we change the size of the boxes? Now, in this particular video, we will see like what we can do if the content inside a box is way more bigger than the box size. And maybe for some restrictions, we cannot increase the size of a box to a great extent. So in those situations, we will add the scroll bars either vertical or horizontal or both as per our requirement. So let's see a practical implementation where we will see how to add the scroll bars along any box. So let's see the practical implementations now. Alright, so let's continue with the implementation of scroll bars and here what I'm going to do is again I will make some dimensions with some height and width as we have done earlier and in case there is some overflow of the content I would like to add the scroll bar so let's see what all I am going to do I've just created a class called scroll with the display as of block borders one pixel solid red padding is there margin top margin is there our width and height is there and in case the content is getting overflown what I'm going to do, I'm going to put some scroll element that is the scroll bar and I'm using this scroll class right here in this div you can put anywhere alright here I'm putting it inside a div so that it will be giving you a box kind of look with this particular paragraph and in case the size and the dimension of the div is not enough for this content we will see the scroll bars as well so let's see how it is appearing in the browser so you can see like as the content is big enough the margin is all, all there which I have set in the CSS class you can see the scroll bars are now appeared on the left on the right and on the bottom of this div so anytime when you want you can simply use this overflow attribute inside the particular element where you want to get these scroll bars and pass the value scroll so that you will get the horizontal and vertical scroll bars at a time. 